Hello and welcome. Today we are bringing you The Surge. So, uh, this just released last night in the UK. I did have a little go last night. I played for about, I don't know, two hours maybe. Um, just to see if, I, if I'd if i enjoy playing it or not. There's no point of making a, a Let's Play if I'm not going to enjoy the game, right? Anyway, I thought the game was pretty fucking cool. It's like a, a mech, well like a, an exosuit Dark Souls, I would say. It's, uh, it's definitely interesting. So we're going to start a fresh game. Uh, just for the YouTube playthrough. And I'll keep the other one for when I'm bored. Well, here we go. Project Resolve, we are building the path to the future. Follow us into a new era, a utopia for all mankind. With every launch, we're healing our planet, restoring its natural shield. A return to the green world we remember, where our children can once more play in the sun. Resolve is not only revitalizing the Earth, but its people, too. We've all dreamed of it, and now Creo is making it a reality. Together, we're strong. Together, we can make a change. Unleash your potential with us. Boop. Welcome. I know you're glad to be here. I am, and I'm glad to see you. Creo, you know who we are, or at least you think you do. Everywhere you turn, we're there, whether you see us or not. I think it's time to take a closer look. Creo is one of the world's largest manufacturers of consumer and industrial products. I like how they did the uh, the start of this game. That's why you're here. At Creo, we're always reaching for the stars. So, so from what I understand is that the Rio, the company, is trying to save the planet and they're launching rockets to seed the atmosphere or something like that. And that's basically all I understood so far. Uh, no, I don't want inverted. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Are we, are we all ready? Mind fucked. That really got me. I was not expecting the wheelchair. Can we get through here? No. I wish there was a way to move faster in the wheelchair, though. And wouldn't this place be a bit busy? Like, why am I the only person joining? Where's everybody else? I'm the only new employee? What's this way? I don't think we can get anywhere, but... I didn't come down here. What weapon do you have? Dick. Nice stick, bruh. Hey, sorry. Uh, I'm new around here, so where should I go? New, huh? Job registration is over there. Sure. Cheers, buddy. What is this? Oh, is that where we are? Saving tomorrow today. Please choose from our two 
Okay, I'll show you guys the two choices that you get at the start. If you like living life in the fast lane, Creo provides you with the highway to success as a field technician. Light, versatile, state of the art. Gear up and save tomorrow today. Those claws look pretty cool. But you don't get the claws. You you literally get this. Um well, I think you get the knowledge to make... No, you do get this. Okay. So there's that choice, which is the one I went with. And then there's another choice. If you believe you can move mountains, Creo has the job for you. Because as a heavy operator, you can literally do that. Pure power. Okay, so this one is like the slow, more defensive one. Are you ready? Because the other one is like the fast, fast attacking, dodgy one. Um, but we went with the fast one last time, so we're going to go with the heavy this time. Just to see how it plays differently. Um, I may have to build the uh, the lighter one. Oh shit. Fuck that. Okay, so the actual exo frame is the same. So, so basically the frame that I have on me is what you put the armor on. So I don't have the armor on at the moment. It's just my exo frame. Oh, okay. I have the DLC frame. I didn't have that last night. Or maybe I did. I don't know. I can't remember. You have been designated for disassembly. Disassembly. Okay, we know how to fight, so let's just skip that. Now, I'm not sure if we get iframes from dodging or not. Not 100% on that. Ow, you son of a bitch. Okay, skill. What does this say? Beat enemies to gain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold to block attacks. There we go. And we gotta go up here. Pick up this new implant. Okay, implants. Now this, I know it's not that one, is it? Is it that one? Triggers a sound when yeah triggers a sound when near items or secrets right. 
This is the most annoying shit that anyone has ever put in a fucking game. This needs to be changed or removed. It is fucking ridiculous. You know what, I'll put it on just to show you guys how fucking stupid it is. Right, let's play health gauge. Okay, lovely. Are you receiving? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Are you still there? Yeah. I'm right in front of you, bitch. Your rig has been damaged. Its distress beacon has been triggered. You need to Oh, look at all that. Jesus. seems to work for me. Honestly, it's the least of my problems. I mean, I can walk. Huh. Never thought I'd be able to say that again. Well, that's good to hear, but the power core is damaged. You'll have to find a new one to make your rig fully functional. What? Uh, I've just been attacked. I don't know you. I'm surrounded by dead people here. Maybe someone would like to explain what's going on. I'm sorry, I don't know. We need to get inside. Maybe you can make something to protect Turn you. Turn my back on you. Operations always have a gear assist. Well, okay. I'll just stroll right on over to the factory then. I certainly don't recommend you. But hey look, his eyes are still trying to look at her. They look really weird. On my way. Be careful. And don't forget to replace the power core of your rig or Shut up, bitch. Okay, now things are a little tougher to fight than they are at the start. And, oh, I'm not watching my stamina. Right, get ready for the most annoying fucking thing ever in a computer game. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? That's not even the worst. Sometimes they're just behind a wall, so you're right next to it. And you'll get this. This. While you're trying to fight people, this sound going on, your controller vibrating. Just to tell me there's a fucking item. Like they couldn't put like an on-screen thing. No, they have to put that annoying sound and there's, there's no way to just turn off the sound. It is absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, let's go and get the power call. This is a cool feature, targeting, see what body parts have armor on and shit. And you can shred parts of that armor. So if I wanted that weapon, I'd attack his arm and hope that he drops the weapon. Uh, but it wants me to attack the head because it's the unarmored part, so. There we go. So I'm not exactly sure what these guys are. I don't know if they're dead or like they're just like brainwashed kind of thing. Not sure. Uh, let's put that boost on actually. Oh, we can't because we need, yeah, we need power. I'll explain that in a second. Right, I want this guy's weapon. Oh, come on. The game doesn't want me to hit his weapon, so it's not letting me actually do it. Okay. Fuck. There. Happy now, game?
Man, after playing Neo, I, I want to use the Neo controls. Alright, now we have the power core. Fuck that dude a minute. You go away. Okay, so now we get to actually test out the armor. I think. Uh, yeah, I know that. So, increase my power core. Alright, so basically this is your level. So your, your scrap is, is your souls, basically. Um, if this was Dark Souls. Um, so you go to the med bay. And you can use your scraps to upgrade your power consumption. Your power core, which is down at the bottom of the screen. Um, each level gives you one extra. And different mods and different weapons take power. So, you're limited to what you can use. Which I think is a really cool mechanic. Um, obviously, I think like the heavier weapons take more, um, so you can have like really good defense with your armor and your and like really good hitting power, or you could have like really good implants and light armor, and light weapons. Which I think is really cool. Um, so we got MK1 rig. I haven't actually found another rig yet. But like I said, I'm only part way through the game uh, so that's going to give me more health increases maximum health scales with my core power so then every time I level up my core I get a bit more health through that and then we have this as well applies a physical damage boost to weapons so I can put that on instead of that fucking annoying bleeping thing in fact how much is it worth if we destroy this 2000 Okay, so so now, because I think that's the the pre-order bonus. So basically, we just got two thousand scrap for pre-ordering, because that fucking implant is just horrible. Now we got twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There we go. Fifteen. Why not? And then we can bank the rest of it. So. Uh, the bank scrap, when we die, it doesn't, we don't drop it, so it's just in the bank. We can redeem our armor. You know, leg schematic. Arm schematic. That's it, we don't, we don't get the rest of the gear. Okay, so that we have to make these. Yeah, yeah. So we have to go out and get the body parts off the guys so we can make the armor so we're gonna go do that Have a nice day, Warren. Uh, first we're gonna kill these two little shitheads I hate how slow this weapon is. But then again, we are going to be testing the heavy heavy armor and heavy weapons, so. Uh, I think it's I think I don't like it because I've been playing with a uh with a light armor guy. Okay, so he wants me to take out his arm. So we keep doing this till he gets low health and our blue bar fills up. Then we can execute the fucker. And as you can see, his arm fell off, so we can pick up that shit. So that gives us one scrap. And the schematic for his arm, because he's using the Link set, which is the lighter armor. And this guy, we want his weapon. Boop. And the weapon is now ours. That sexy chainsaw sword. There we go. So now we have this. Which so far has been my favorite weapon. Uh, but I think we're going to take this guy's weapon instead. Boop. 
Okay, so we'll pick up this. Right, now I haven't actually used this one. Very slow weapon. Oh, we have a nice test subject right here. Okay, it's not too bad, it's not that slow. Uh, we're gonna take your head though. There we go. Uh, we didn't, because we didn't execute, so we didn't get his head. We didn't get his head gear. Okay, uh, and now we can overcharge the door. So this here depends on what level your core is. So if my core is 15, so I can do a level 10 core override or overcharge. There we go. And we can bypass that. Then gets us into here. Right now there's a lot of fucking guys in here. So we don't want to aggro too many. Rather just have the one guy come after me. So can we get this guy on me? Okay, we'll take this guy's head. Boom! So even though in the settings I have it to do slow motion takedowns every time, like it's always on, it still doesn't do it for some reason. But then I need to fix that shit. Right, we want his body because we don't have the schematics for the rhino body. And the different combinations you press uh, for the horizontal and vertical attacks do different moves, which I found out uh, when I had the, the door weapon, two-handed, or two one-handed weapons. I thought it was pretty cool. I don't like the jump, but then again, what Dark Souls has a good jump, right? Okay, so this one is level 11, so we can override this one. Zoop. Which I believe uh, fixes that doorway there, or that machine there, I can't remember. Okay, he didn't see us, the other guy did though. Right, we don't want, we want his uh, headgear. No, we don't. We want his arm. No, we don't. We want his legs. He's got no armor in his arm, so we want his leg parts. Because obviously we haven't got any armor yet, so we need parts to make our armor. Shit, but we killed him. Okay, well I'm going to switch weapons, because we, uh, we keep killing people. Instead of taking their bits. Okay, you have armor on your arm, so I'm going to take that. Ow. Come on. Zoop. And back. There we go. And we'll steal his arm. You know, because there's, there's nothing better to collect than used body parts, obviously. Uh, pick up that. Okay. Oh, now we have a new implant. And voice log. So what's this implant? We have hot swap. Slows energy decay. Well, we might as well put it on for now. This time about the exoskeleton. He's refused to have the implant surgery. We've explained it's hard 
Apparently a maid servant even offered to double his bonus. But no, things management we needed to control the workforce. We even brought up his union. Okay, so this one's a level 55. I'm not sure what it actually opens, but yeah, it's a level 55 overcharge, so we can't do that until we're level 55. Nope. So I think they just put that there to show you. And we'll unlock this. So in the old Dark Souls tradition, you unlock shortcuts to get back to the safe house. So basically the, the op center is your bonfire. Okay, so we should have some tech to uh, to build our suit now. So here we go, arms. There's one arm. We don't have enough to build two arms, unfortunately, and we don't have any legs to build. Okay. So I'll show you now. Um, you got your head, your right arm. Oh, they did actually give us one. So you have to build two, so now we have one leg that's not armoured. If I click that one, it's already on the other leg. Okay, but this armour is a hell of a lot more beefy than uh, the last armour I had. Okay guys, and that's going to be it for the first episode of our Surge playthrough. Um, this game definitely... Definitely reminds me of Dark Souls, um, and as you can tell by my channel, the, like, um, or even though I haven't uploaded any Dark Souls videos, which I might do, I may do a, a Dark Souls free playthrough for YouTube, um, but I do enjoy these type of games, very punishing, uh, yeah, I mean like Neo, Dark Souls, Surge, um, if there's any more, let me know, like, I'd like to play a few more of these kind of games, anyway guys. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, give me comments, whatever. So yeah. Oh, and of course subscribe, because, you know, that's my e-peen. Then I need, uh, I need to get bigger, so, so subscribe for my e-peen. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Don't you want to wake up to a brighter future? Isn't that what... Everyone wants, we can all make a difference.